Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with the second part of how to make a Gang Grumps episode, and in this episode I'm going to teach you how to record the audio and the best way that Aaron and Danny do it on Game Grumps. So first I'm going to explain how they do it. They have a few microphones that are very expensive, over $1,000 each, and they go into a mixing board, and it takes those three sources and puts it into one output source, and that goes into their computer, and that's how they record multiple mics into one audio stream. Now that setup really isn't cheap or easy to come by, so if you don't want to go buy a mixing board, then you can use software in your computer, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So next I'm going to show you my setup. Right now I have a Shure microphone, which is for vocalists and singers, so it's a pretty good microphone, and it connects to an XLR cable all the way to a little bitty mixing board that I have that only has one XLR input, but it has an output that goes to auxiliary into a little auxiliary USB thing I have. And that goes into my computer. And that's one source. The next source I have is, I have a couple blue snowball microphones, and they are USB mics. And they connect through USB from the mic itself all the way to the computer. And that creates my two inputs. Now again, Windows can't record two inputs at once properly, so you have to use software to this. And that's where this program comes in called Voice Meter. So let's flip to the computer screen. Now over here is Voice Meter. It is a program that simulates a mixing board, and you can tell it what inputs you want over here, and it'll output it into what it's called a virtual cable. Now I'm going to put the link to download all this stuff in the description below. You will need Voice Meter and the accompanying driver with it, which is called Virtual Audio Cable. So you'll need to install both of those and restart your computer for it to take effect. Over here on the right, I have Audacity, which is another free program that you can record audio with. It's awesome. I recommend it. I'll put that link in the description below as well. So once you have Voice Meter up and running, if you click the Windows button and type in Sound, it brings up the Sound Control Panel, and you'll see your inputs. My Shure mic, my Blue Snowball, and then the Virtual Cable after we installed that. That appears there. That's going to be the output. These two inputs merge into this one and then you can tell everything to use this one as your primary mic input and that's how it's going to record the sound. So over here on the left I have my Shure microphone. Channel A, if you have that enabled it's going to play through your speakers and channel B will not. So I always have channel B as the primary one and channel A deselected. You're also going to want to try to level out the audio for each of these because these two mics are different so they're going to look a little bit different but we want them to kind of project at the same volume since they're going to be one audio track and we don't want to do much editing on that. If you have different levels of audio, that's going to be a problem when you're trying to edit. So if you got two inputs that peak out at about the same, make sure it's coming out over here on your virtual out, and then make sure your primary input is one of these microphones, it doesn't matter which. Since I use my Shure one primarily, I'm going to keep that there, and then leave this right here. So when you go into Audacity, up here in the middle, you can tell it what audio source you wanted to record from. Select cable output, the virtual cable. Make sure that one's the one selected. Also, you'd want to select mono as well because you don't need a stereo microphone when one voice is going into one mic. It doesn't matter if it's coming out the left or right. You can edit that post if you really need to. And then once you do that, you hit record and you'll start seeing the wavelengths like I have right here. But if we review the setup that I just said, you have two microphones and they both connect to your computer voice meter is the mixer you tell it which microphones in slot one and slot two you want to use and then in hardware out you're going to want to select cable input which is that virtual cable and so it knows to output to that source right here and then when you record you're going to make sure your source input is that virtual output sounds a little confusing but you'll quickly get used to it and it'll become very easy once you do this more often. So there you have it. That's how you record the audio from multiple mic inputs without having a mixer board and how the Game Grumps do it. In the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to master this audio and how to edit it and level it and do all the tricks that they use to make sure this sounds the best possible. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that tutorial. If that helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because that'll help me out, and that'll let me know what you guys want to see next. Also, if you want, you can check out my Patreon. The more patrons I have, the more frequent I can do my giveaways, and the better the prizes will be. I also sell shirts and stuff on Amazon and TeePublic, so all the links will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.